Merhaba. Benim adım Seda. Merhaba. Benim adım Ahmet. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum Ahmet. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum Seda. Nasılsın? İyiyim. Sen nasılsın? Hoşça kal. Hoşça kal. What was that? Do you think this type of conversation happen in Turkish? Do, do, do, do. No! It's said out from Turkish Tales of Wonder. I want to help you to sound more Turkish. Everything I just said, there's nothing wrong with that. Like literally nothing wrong. You can check out the grammar book and you will find sentences like this. But in daily life, I don't hear anyone speaking like that. It's like in English. Hello, hello. My name is Seda. What is your name? My name is blah blah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, I will say blah. Nobody talks like that. In daily life, you just cut it short, especially in Turkish. Since you add suffixes, we take out of a lot of words because we don't need that. We understand. When you meet a Turkish person, if you just learn the Turkish from books, you are like, oh my God, what is this person saying? In simple, merhaba, for example, of course, this is the right pronunciation. I wish everybody talked like that, like merhaba, merhaba, but we don't, we say, Merhaba. Not no such a thing as silent H in Turkish. There is no silent letter. Every letter has a specific pronunciation. But this is not the reality out there in the streets. We don't read the H here. Okay? Letter H, not there. When you learn a language, the ideal and the reality, there is a difference there. And when you teach people the ideal and when they see the real they get discouraged i think so when someone says merhaba without the h you know that it's merhaba and you also try to say it like a turkish person merhaba merhaba merhaba merhaba merhaba merhaba merhaba merhaba <laughs> okay the other one nobody says my name is seda I'm not a robot. If someone asks, ah, what's your name? Adı ne? What do you say? What do you say? You just say your name. Seda. Merhaba. If you want to make a full sentence, you just say ben Seda. In Turkish, you don't put the to be there. You don't say I am Seda, but you say I Seda. Ben Seda. Okay? Ben Seda. Normally, to be verb should be at the end of that sentence. Ben Seda Yim. Ben Seda Yim. Okay? This is the correct and proper sentence. Nobody says that. Either we say Ben Seda without the to be verb or we just say Seda. The next thing is, again, a lot of my students say, how to say this? Tanıştığımıza. And this is the beginner. Like, I'm pleased to meet you. Okay? You try to teach a beginner student, like, I'm pleased to meet you. Maybe in English it's easier, but in Turkish, Tanıştığımıza. It's not beginner at all. It's not easy to say Tanıştığımıza. Or it's not easy to understand. Okay? And this is not beginner. You don't know how to say the relative clause like that me met or you don't know how to read a word that long it's like a nightmare don't worry you don't have to say that let's imagine a conversation merhaba merhaba seda ahmet ah memnun oldum memnun oldum it's enough more than enough memnun oldum i am pleased merhaba name memnun oldum just four words and you are speaking with a turkish person so it's motivating right <laughs> okay you want to ask how that person is you can of course say nasılsın or if that person is not very close to you you can say nasılsınız to be 
more polite but if that's your friend you would say naber naber naber naber naber naber it's short version of ne haber which means what news but naber means something like what's up and normally you know when someone says naber you don't say the news is blah blah blah blah you just say good well you know okay whatever you say but in turkish you would just say iyi okay we don't say ban iyi yim ban iyi yim you don't have to think like what was the conjugation of that to be word in turkish which suffix do i need to add like im um um um the vowel harmony rules do i need to add a buffer letter for the beginner it's too complicated turkish is very complicated for a beginner student because there are so many rules to add the prefixes suffixes the vowel harmony rules consonant mutation rules buffer letters and stuff like that you have to learn and memorize and understand the turkish logic and it's so confusing and you get discouraged at least you can have this basic basic conversation saying your name and asking how they are without thinking about those things in turkish you when you want to say thank you the word is teşekkür ederim and for foreigner simple thank you shouldn't be that hard teşekkür ederim if you want to say this either use teşekkürler so you can just say sağ Sa ol. That's it. Sa ol. That means thanks. <laughs> And if you want to agree with someone, like I agree with you, yeah, me too, I want to, I don't want either, like you are agreeing with someone either in a positive way or a negative way, you can just say aynan. Aynan. They're asking, no, I don't want to go to the movies. Aynan. Like, I don't want either. Or like, ah, I want to eat something. Aynan. Me too, I want to eat something. You know, nah, this is too expensive. Aynan. Or, ah, I want to sleep. Aynan. Ah, I'm sleepy too. You say Aynan to agree with that person. Or even, even when you don't agree and you are being sarcastic. Ah, uh, I couldn't study because the lights were out. Mm, I know. Ah. <laughs> you were partying all night. I know. <laughs> I hope this helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please tell me like what makes you most discouraged about learning Turkish. I will try to make a video about that to get you out of that discouragement zone. Okay? I will see you next time, guys. Hoşçakalın. Kendinize iyi bakın. Yeah! We come together all around the world to learn Turkish. Thanks guys for watching me. I will see you next time. Görüşürüz.